Hey guys, uh, nice to be here for this week's dev update or Oxen Labs update, but I'm doing the dev section. Um, so on session, we have been pretty much focusing on the same two tasks that I've been telling you about for weeks now, um, closed groups and disappearing messages. Um, on closed groups, we're making really good progress with the library integration. So essentially Jason has written this thing called libsession util, which is handling a lot of the underlying functionality for closed groups but also changing the way that we handle configuration messages. Um, something he put in this week into Libsession Util was compression and uh, it handling the encryption at the library level as well. So the session uh, doesn't necessarily uh, need to do that as well. Uh, we can just call to the library um, and then padding too. So it's starting to handle some of the more uh, annoying functionality to implement on each client and it makes sure that we have everything exactly the same on every client so we just import that library everywhere. Um, so the integration is going pretty well. We did have some hiccups with um, Android and desktop, um, but we're through those now um, and we should be basically uh, be able to call uh, functions from this, this library and get things um, implemented. And most of the developers are now uh, finished on the profile um, information, which was the first kind of two endpoints that Jason put into this uh, library. Uh, on the disappearing message side, most of the developers are now finishing up um, on disappear after send and dispar disappear after read. Uh, most of the developers are now working on uh, backwards compatibility. So there won't actually be uh, backwards compatibility per se between old disappearing messages and new disappearing messages, but we want there to be a notification for um, users when they receive a, mess a disappearing message from someone who's on an old version of the application, just to make sure that people do upgrade and to make sure that users understand that if uh, different users are using two different versions of disappearing messages, things might not be working exactly as you expect them. Um, so working on that. Uh, the Austin team's essentially continuing to work on the Walt3 stuff, um, the, the, the Python uh, Walt3 CLI, um, and that's coming along nicely. Uh, Sean's just implemented some logging um, because he's working with the wallet and the daemon right now and having a few issues um, trying to see why like the, the wallet isn't syncing with the daemon and adding in logging is gonna be something that we need for the rest of um, the awesome wallet anyway. So it makes sense to add it now. So he's doing that. Um, that's about it on Oxen Core. Um, on LokiNet, we are continuing to work on LibLokiNet. Um, so one of the things we were doing today was merging back some of the iOS code that was developed for uh, our test LibLokiNet integration. That's being merged back um, into LibLokiNet, a few merge conflicts that, that needs to be resolved. And we're also updating uh, the internal version of Quick that we use uh, for LibLokiNet too. Um, yeah, that just about wraps us up for this week for the dev side. I will throw it over to Josh for the next section. All right, thanks guys. Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to another Marketing Labs update. So what do I have on store for you guys for last week? Last week, I mean, it was this, the CEO announcement was probably the biggest thing that happened. It was a huge thing that happened. I briefly talked about it um, last Marketing Labs update, but I think that was a little bit premature because that, that did actually happen last week. But last week we did that. We also put out a blog surrounding that. We put out a video surrounding that. And we also did an AMA um, on the session community channels around that too. So um, uh, we also published that AMA into a blog. Um, so if you happen to miss out on the AMA, you can catch all the Q and A's on that blog. Um, so we did that. On the foundation front, we also finished up the last uh, article in our series on cyber security laws. Um, so that was great to finally get that final piece done and wrap it up. This whole series has been actually really good in terms of um, building up relationships with a bunch of different writers from all around the world, um, as well as you know the foundation gaining a lot of their insights because Obviously, they're writing about the different cybersecurity laws and regulations and issues happening all around the globe. So that was really good. And now with that wrapped up, the OPTF, the foundation, can move on to bigger and better things. Um, we've also been prepping content for the end of the Christmas break. That's something that we're going to be continually doing up until till the break. And on top of that, 
um, besides planning all of the content for the break, we've also started prepping for um, the goals and the things that we want to hit and achieve starting Q1 of next year. So that way that when we come back from the break, we can just hit the ground running and everything can, we can just get stuck into, into work right away. There won't be any lag time really. Um, We've also been putting a focus on translating the ads for um, our session German ad campaign. Um, we've been running them in English, but now we're trying to translate them into German. So that's something we've been doing. It's also, it's, it's always pretty tricky getting translations done for session. This is what we're realizing just due to the, the technical nature of the app. Um, but we've been doing that and as a result we're kind of you know figuring out how to do it better so currently we're working on some like core translation guidelines that we can give out to people translating the app as well or not the app but translating when they're translating materials for us to make it easier for them so getting these kind of like guidelines in place will help us out in the future um but yeah i think that's that's pretty much about it for last week. Um, I'll see you guys next time.